Spiritual gifts are special abilities given by the Holy Spirit to believers for the purpose of building up the body of Christ, the Church. These gifts are outlined in the New Testament, particularly in the letters of Paul. The King James Version of the Holy Bible, treasured for its majestic language and poetic beauty, offers timeless guidance on recognizing and understanding these divine endowments. This video explores signs of spiritual gifts from a Christian perspective, drawing from the rich well of wisdom found in the KJV. Understanding Spiritual Gifts The Apostle Paul speaks extensively about spiritual gifts in his letters, particularly in Romans 12, 1 Corinthians 12, 14 and Ephesians 4. These passages provide a foundational understanding for identifying and nurturing the gifts within us. 1. A profound sense of calling, one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, Ephesians 4.4. 4. A sign you may have a spiritual gift is a profound sense of calling towards a specific purpose or ministry. This isn't just a general desire to serve, but a deep inner conviction guiding you towards a particular form of service within the Christian community. 2. Affirmation from others. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. 1 Timothy 4.14 Another sign is the affirmation from other believers. When others notice and affirm a particular ability or ministry in you, it may be an indication of a spiritual gift. This recognition often comes through communal prayer, prophecy, or simply through the discernment of those mature in faith. 3. Fruitfulness in ministry. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Romans 12, 6. When your service in a certain area consistently bears fruit, this could signify a spiritual gift. Whether it's teaching, encouraging, giving, leading, or another form of service, the effectiveness and impact of your ministry can reveal your spiritual gifts. 4. A deep joy and fulfillment. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by Him, in all utterance and in all knowledge, 1 Corinthians 1, 4, 5. Engaging in your gifted area often brings a deep sense of joy and fulfillment. Even when it's challenging, there's an underlying peace and contentment that comes from operating within your spiritual gifting. 5. Divine empowerment, but ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Acts 1.8. A hallmark of a spiritual gift is divine empowerment. This is the supernatural ability to perform tasks beyond your natural capability, made possible through the Holy Spirit's power. It's a clear indication that God is working through you in a special way. 6. Inner witness of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Romans 8.16. An inner witness of the Holy Spirit, a sort of intuitive knowing, can indicate a spiritual gift. This inner conviction is often accompanied by a sense of peace and assurance when serving in your area of gifting. 7. Continuous growth and desire for improvement, but covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Corinthians 12.31 A genuine spiritual gift is accompanied by a desire for growth and improvement. This isn't driven by pride or the desire for recognition, but by a heartfelt longing to serve God and His people more effectively. 8. A heart for service. For, brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Galatians 5.13 A true sign of a spiritual gift is a heart for service. This means your primary motivation is love for God and others, not personal gain or public recognition. Your desire is to edify the church and glorify God. Cultivating your spiritual gifts. Recognizing your spiritual gifts is just the beginning. Cultivation and stewardship of these gifts are crucial. The Apostle Paul encourages Timothy to stir up the gift of God, which is in thee, 2 Timothy 1.6. This stirring up involves prayer, practice, learning, and serving faithfully where God has placed you. The role of community. Engaging with a community of believers is essential for the growth of your spiritual gifts. The church provides a context for your gifts to be recognized, nurtured, and exercised. It's within the body of Christ that our gifts find their fullest expression and purpose. Continuous surrender to the Holy Spirit. Living a life yielded to the Holy Spirit is vital for the development of your spiritual gifts. 
This means daily surrendering your will, desires and plans to God, allowing Him to use you as He sees fit. It's through this surrender that the Spirit molds us and magnifies His power through our gifts. Spiritual gifts are a profound expression of God's grace in our lives. They are not for our glory, but for serving others and glorifying God. Recognizing and nurturing these gifts require a heart attuned to God's Spirit, a life immersed in His Word, and a commitment to serving His people. The signs of having a spiritual gift, as outlined in the KJV Bible, are multifaceted. They include a sense of calling, affirmation from others, fruitfulness in ministry, joy and fulfillment, divine empowerment, an inner witness by the Holy Spirit, a continuous desire for growth and a heart for service. By paying attention to these signs and faithfully stewarding our gifts, we can contribute to the edification of the Church and the advancement of God's kingdom on earth. May we all seek to discover, develop and deploy our spiritual gifts for the glory of God and the good of His people. In doing so, we live out our divine calling and experience the fullness of joy that comes from serving in the power of the Holy Spirit.